Hey, so hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for uh, coming in. So today I'm going to share with you uh, this, uh, what appeared to be a Buck 110. Um, I know you guys remember the Seinfeld episode where he's like even Steven. He would lose $20 and then he'll find $20, right? So um, many years ago, um, I had a... Uh, a buck knife, a buck 110, and uh, back when they were like $17 or $12 or something like that. Um, and uh, I don't know where it went. Uh, so uh, anyways, so um, I was cleaning out an old house uh, that uh, my girlfriend was uh, getting ready to list. And uh, it was one of those repo homes that got evicted. The home was like in super bad shape, but you know, stuff everywhere, tons of cockroaches. And uh, the new buyer uh, said, you know, take what you want. So I took quite a bit of stuff, you know. Um, and in one of the boxes in the garage, there was this knife. It was actually a tool, a tool chest, but the tool, you know, it's it, the tool chest wasn't any good. Uh, decent tools. Um, uh, you know, usable tools, nothing, no Craftsman Snap-on or Mac or anything like that, you know, just, uh, just generic tools. But anyway, so there was this buck knife in there. So I grabbed this and I used it for a while and I, I could have sworn it was a buck knife, right? It's in a nice buck sheath. Um, you can see there, uh, it, it used to say buck right there, buck button, uh, 110, uh, great leather. I had to oil it because uh, it dried up and cracked, but that's a beautiful, beautiful case. So this is an authentic uh, buck case, right? So inside, I pulled this out, and it looked just like a three-pin buck knife from the 70, 72, 74 series, you know. Um, decent brass on it. Um Nice locking mechanism, you know, stainless steel. It says so right there, stainless steel. Um, I don't even know what it's, I'm not sure what's underneath there. But anyways, um, and it says 059 on this. Well, the buck knife, they say, it'll say buck on it. And I never pay attention to it because just looking at it, it looks just like a buck, the blade, you know. And, uh, you know, it's solid. You know, there's no wiggle to it. And it's just, a, you know, after all these years, just a little play uh, back and forth, you know, at, at, as, you, um, as you try to close it, you know. Um, I pay more attention to this area, and I don't think the real buck knife, I think the real buck, even the three pins, uh, the blade comes all the way back. So it was in question, and I just noticed it, uh, not too long ago, and I was completely disappointed. And I said, dang, that's not even Steven, you know. But uh, not a bad knife. I mean, it's really similar to the Buck, right? I think this is a overseas replica, uh, five inches. Uh, opens up to be, oh, it's a decent hunting knife, nine inches. Um, it's, a, you know, it's, it's, it's similar to the Buck version, uh, the Buck 110, which was, uh, which was a, uh, folding hunting knife, you know, cause people didn't want, uh, people do want the fixed blade, but you know, they, some of, some folks prefer something that you can close, it, it, you can close, you know, um, it does have brass lining. I don't know if you can see it right in there. It's, it, it's brass. Um, has a brass lining and uh, you know it's a pretty decent knife cutting edge let me see yeah let me see the cutting edge here cutting edge is about uh, almost four inches three and a half let's say I say it's three and a half well, let me see here three and three yeah three and a half inches so you know it, it does it, it is pretty sharp it takes uh, yeah, you know, a couple of swipe and uh, not doing this any justice here. I'm trying to do it on camera, and uh, it's. Uh, I probably need a steel 
well, it's not too bad. And it holds the edge pretty good for, uh, I don't know, for a stainless steel blade. Uh, pretty good snap. I don't know, let's hear the lock back here. Guys, it is not that good. I mean, it's not the great snap like you would expect. All right. Now here a case. Um, here, um, let's do a case about the same size. I'm going to screw this up and get my finger all over here, but uh, Jesus, excuse me. Oh, that's smooth. It's not loud, but it's pretty smooth. All right. I guess it's, I guess it's just because it's such a big blade. Let me wipe it off with my shirt here. <laughs> I just, just going to screw that up. All right. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, I don't know. So anyways... I thought, I don't think this is a real case. I don't see any evidence as a real case. So uh, with that, you guys have a good day. Thanks for coming in. Bye.